hi everyone and welcome to my channel if you are new to my channel please subscribe and the press of the notification button if you are interested in personal reading you will find the information and my website in the description box below so we will put the bile first and then we will choose if you don't want to watch the shuffling you can just skip it and you will find the time stamp in the first comment Now, and we have four options. Number one will be this stone. Number two. Number three. And number four. I will give you a few seconds to choose and then we start. Start with option number Okay, so you could be Pisces. This is the only star sign I have here. Don't stick to the star signs anyway. But you could be Pisces or Scorpio. You could be Virgo as well. Okay, what is the message for you? Now, what I can see is you are struggling at the moment with depression, probably. You probably you are someone who is. Uh, you are an artistic person 
and you are depressed at the moment. You have depression, you are in your mind, you are someone who like a loner, and this is because that you have a lot of dreams in your mind and you think that you can't reach it. You are trying to manifest something, it's been for a long time, and you couldn't manifest it. And you look like you nearly lost hope to do it. This is, could be something relating to your work, it could be love life, it could be both. You, you have feeling that you have not able to manifest what you want for a long time, and you had bad luck. You feel like you have been trying too hard for many things and think it is not turning as you want. This is how you think about it. This is why you have here the positive thinking. The angels urges you to take control of your thoughts process. You have been worrying too much. This causes your mind to race during the day and for you to sleep poorly at night. You need to surrender to the magic of who you are. You need to take yourself out of the depression and increase your self-confidence and your self-worth. You are questioning your self-worth. You believe and you know that you worth a lot. You know that you are someone who is very intuitive, very artistic. You have a great mind. You know your value, but you think that others not realizing you. Uh, this is, could be something related to your love life, your career, or both of them. Uh, I can see you in uh, a very dark mood at the moment. Uh, you need to surrender to the magic of who you are. We all have magic in us, even in the mundane aspects of life. Remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth that come from just being you. You feeling that others not evaluating you or not seeing your worth as it should be. And you questioning love all total. You could be a mother as well. And you have kids and you have problem with your kids because we have here the Empress. So this is something to do with your abundance as general. You could be uh, one have kids and you couldn't manifest it or you have kids already and you have problem with your kids because I can see you you are in a very dark mood you questioning everything around you it could be something like a severe depression so you need to work on the law of attraction keep your thoughts positive and surround yourself with positive people and situations and you will attract more positive into your life so this is your first advice here. The main advice actually is to work on the law of attraction and you need to get out of your negative thinking. So you need to think positive and use the law of attraction and take yourself out of any depressing situation, negative thoughts, and release yourself from negative people as well. And listen only to love. Don't allow fear to distract you from your divine mission. I can see that you uh, probably feel that other people are in your way and they're not giving you the chance to manifest what you want. They're not giving you the chance to glow or grow as you want. You know and you think that you deserve better, you deserve the best, but you just couldn't manifest it. Positive changes are taking a place so be patient it's uh, what you want is coming your way all what you need is to first surrender to the magic of who you are accept yourself as you are and listen only to love start to work on the law of attraction so and work on your positive thinking what you want and what you need is coming it's manifesting but just be patient Positive changes are taking place now. Stop worrying, your desire are manifesting. So what you want, what you need, what you need to manifest is coming your way already. Positive changes are taking place. So you need to stop worrying because your desire 
are manifesting. You will probably, um, there is a travel plans. So if you are working for a job or you're looking for a new work, a new job, there could be a travel plans in the future. The angels are here to advise you that travel is coming up for you. This may be associated with work or will earn it holiday. It could be someone uh, will invite you for a holiday. Something will give you uh, positive thinking, good time as well. If your desire has something to do with your work, you probably will get a work. Might be you will need to uh, travel or you will need to move. For some of you, this advice could mean that you need to change a place to change your luck as well. Sometimes when we change the place, things really change dramatically. If you are in a house and you're not happy in it, neighbors are annoying, or you just feel uh, like a cloud of bad luck. Sometimes if you change your residence, luck change. If you change your work, luck change. If it's possible. So you have here the five of pentacles as well, verification for the moon. You really depressed. You feel depressed, you feel alone. You feel that sense of lack. You are in severe depression. You're questioning your worth. This is why you put that card, surrender to the magic of who you are. So you need to take yourself off that deep depression. Go for a holiday uh, and think positive. And take yourself away as well from people who are negative. Uh, you could be Cancer, Aries. It has something to do with your financial situation, your work, your career, your success, yourself, uh, how you feel yourself as well your well-being or your worth. Success is coming your way. You have here the chariot. Success is coming your way and fast actually. So the situation will change. From the five of pentacle, the sense of lack, feeling that you're not deserving, left out in the cold and dramatically you will see a big huge change in your life, big shifting, huge success and you move forward, something you will not expect. I enjoy the serendipity of life. The unexpected can be wonderful. That is the blue moon. Every day I bring radical self-love to my mind, body and spirit. I accept and create more flow and the pleasure in my life. Positive thinking, that is the main thing for you, is to go for positive thinking, stop worrying, and be sure that your desire are manifesting. And the changes is taking place now. You will see it very fast actually, because you go as a chariot, and this is mean that it will be very fast. You will see that changes in your life. Thank you option number one and if you're new to my channel please subscribe and press on the notification button if you are interested in personal reading you will find the information and my website in the description box below now this is done
you are in energy of giving up probably you could be thinking about changing your work changing your career you could be already in a job and you want to have your own business you have could be have been working in a business already but you think is that it's not bringing to you what you already invested in it and you are thinking about should I stay or should I go uh, we have here uh, Aries star sign that is the only one I can see okay so what you need to do is time management so don't give up still the angels are telling you is the answer is maybe so this is mean it's not definitely yes so what you are trying to manifest it's not definitely yes it's maybe so the angels acknowledge your question but are unable to give you a definite answer at this time because you the one who has to work on it you will need to surrender procrastination you probably are waiting for something to manifest by itself or you want you want a sign you are waiting for a sign and once you will see the sign you will know that this is right or this is where should i go no it's not it's not gonna work like this for you you the one who has to take the decision so there's not gonna be a sign for you there will not be definite answer as yes you will just need to take an action now It could be Leo as well. Whatever you want to manifest, if this is something related to your work, career, a project, or a love life, a love situation, you thinking that um, it's better for you if you hold on for now and just leave everything behind and just enjoy yourself or enjoy your time but actually the message for you is to surrender procrastination don't put things on hold now is the time to jump on a goal instead of putting it off taking action will attract success and this is the second card for you is take action now the angels advise you that a project or idea that you are been working on is finally near the point of transformation this is why that you the one who will manifest what you want and the answer you will not get it from the angels you will not get it from a synchronicity sign what you need to manifest you the one who has to do it so don't wait for anyone to answer your question the angels will not able to give you a definite answer you the one who has to work on it take action and is to surrender to procrastination still they're telling you finding a feather is a sign your guardian angels are by your side this is mean that you are not getting a sign from the universe you are getting signs from the universe but has nothing to do with answer of your question the signs you get from the universe is an assurance signs so if you find a feather you know that your guardian angels are by your side you are protected angels are with you but you will not get the answer from the angels you someone who's very smart you are someone who can do and manifest what you want you can make your own decisions so you the one who has to work on it and take action now all what you need is to have time management that's why i feel you have a lot on your plate you look like someone who's too busy or have many plans in your mind and you're not working on on them one by one place your priorities at the top of your to-do list and don't allow distraction to deter your focus don't focus on where you have been focus on where you are headed so because I feel that you are about to give up because you feel that you have you have been working on this for a long time or you had this plan in your mind for a long time but you have been waiting for uh, external help uh, a sign from the universe something to help you someone to help you 
but you're not gonna get all of this. The sign you will get from the universe is assurance because you're the one who can do it, you're the one who can manifest it. And it's not manifesting because you are putting things on hold because as well you will need to manage your priorities and manage your time. Authenticity, trust that your real self, whom God created divinely perfect, has the strength and knowledge needed for this situation. See? This is what I'm telling you. So stop waiting for others to help you, for someone to tell you what to do, for a sign from the universe, so it can tell you that this is the right time to take the decision. None of this is gonna work for you because you're the one, you have all what it takes to manifest what you want. You have the strength and the knowledge needed for this situation. So you need to lean on yourself, I'm sorry. <laughs> I will not remain stuck. I choose a change. Here we go. Don't focus on where you have been. Focus on where you are headed. So choose not to remain stuck. Choose a change. I assess matters carefully and discern wisely because you have all it takes to do it. You have the strength, the knowledge needed for this situation. So you're the one who need to assess the matter carefully and discern wisely because you are a wise person and you know what you are doing. You see, this is Leo again. You could be Leo. I am courageous and powerful. So take action now. I invite peace within myself. I rebel this outwards. Thank you, option number two. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and press on the notification button. If you are interested in personal reading, you find the information and my website in the description box below. Now, this is done. That's a nice reading. Wow. This is a beautiful reading. Who is the lucky one who chose that one? I can see that you have been going through uh, a karmic situation. This is, could be a karmic marriage, a karmic relationship in the past, and you have left everything and you did focus only on yourself, your healing. You could be, uh, have been going through something like um, a twin flame relationship for some of you. Anyway, the universe did push you to heal. This is why you left everything behind and you focused only on your healing, your career, your success because of what you have gone through in the past. Now you are in a better situation, you are more successful, you are victorious and you manifested a lot in your life. Uh, you went too far than where you have been in the past. You still have something inside which hasn't healed yet. You probably think that you already have healed yourself completely and you feel that you no longer need any healing. But still the cards are telling you that you still have one more step in your healing. 
you just need to surrender to complete healing. So now is the time to receive. This is what you need to do. So open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. This does not mean that you haven't healed yourself. You already have healed yourself, but just the last step is to open your hands to receive all the abundance. First abundance you will get from the universe or from God is the last step of healing. God will give you the last miracle, which is the complete healing. So this will be your last step in healing. And this is something you can do it yourself. It's the abundance from the universe or from God is having that complete healing, the feeling of the inner peace. So that inner peace is coming from the universe. All what you need to do is to open yourself fully to loving, compassionate forces of the universe, which is the light of God, the light of the universe, to give you the miracle of the complete healing, physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. We have as well Mother Mary. The blessed Mother Mary is helping you with your divine life purpose. I can see that you are very successful at the moment. You manifested a lot in your life. You are victorious. Uh, it's time of good luck. And you appreciate what you have in your life. You are very courageous. And you have a lot of passion to life, to your life purpose, to your healing. You could be in a healing uh, field as well. Could be working in healing field. So what you need to do now is just allow yourself to receive. Receive all the abundance the universe is here to give you. Open your arms to welcome the blessings and answer the prayer that God is sending to you. Because all difficulties has been resolved. The angels are present to inform you that a particularly difficult period in your life is coming to an end. So this is the end of all the difficulties you had. You already did all the healing. You already now victorious, but it's just one thing is missing. And this is will be the miracle from the universe. It's giving you all the inner peace. What you need to do is just to allow yourself to receive. Open your hands to receive the abundance because there will be an open door for you very soon. The angels ask you to be very observant as you are to be presented with an exciting opportunity. So difficulties now resolve it completely. Everything is behind you now. No more difficulties from now on. It's only abundance. It's only happiness. It's only victory. And it's only the inner peace and the blessing from God. There will be an open door will open for you. So just to be observant will be an exciting opportunity is coming your way. And don't just think about it, just do it. And the universe is telling you, you are a being of the universe. Feel the connection, you are never alone. You're probably an earth angel. You got a lot of good cards, a lot of spiritual cards, and you got the Mother Mary card, the receiving card are being from the universe and an open door you're probably an earth angel a star a star seed because mother mary is with you to help you with your divine life purpose probably a star seed you could be doing something uh, re regarding a charity or you could be a religious person. Very, you are a very spiritual person, probably. Whatever is in your mind now, there will be an open door for it. Exciting opportunity will come to you. So what you need to do just is to surrender to complete healing. Open your hands to receive all the abundance. And to believe that you, you have connection with the universe. You have a good connection with God. 
So don't just think about it, do it. Start and do what you want. Keep moving forward, open your hands to receive and you will get all the abundance you will want. Good luck. I seek balance and grounding. Failure is only learning. I move with confidence and resilience. So anything you left behind in the past is in the past. Forget about it. It's only was for you to learn, was a lesson. So now move with confidence and resilience. Beauty raises my vibration. I seek it out for healing and joy. I gather more wisdom each day. So whatever you have gone through, it was for you to learn, for your wisdom, for your maturity to grow, and probably was needed for your divine life purpose too. Okay, thank you, option number three. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and press on the notification button. If you are interested in personal reading, you will find the information on my website in the description box below. Thank you for watching and I shall see you next time. Now lucky last. You could be a Taurus sign, uh, Libra. That's the only thing I can see here. Okay, what I can see here is that you have a lot of uh, depression and anxiety, stress because of uh, someone uh, have did you wrong. Someone did you wrong. You probably uh, someone has talk about you in a bad way someone has said like, it's something like conspiracy scandal you feel injustice and you feel imbalance and you feel it has it's something to do with uh, your reputation your reputation probably someone has stealed your work uh, someone kick, can was the reason of kicking you out of your job. Someone has um, had a conspiracy about you at work. It's like a scandal about your reputation, your work. That could be someone as well you have trusted and they um, break your trust. Now you are trying you, you are by yourself at the moment. You withdraw yourself from everyone. You don't trust anybody and you don't believe anybody and you think that everyone is liars. You probably were trying as well now to do the same as others has been doing. Like you are using the manipulation, uh, you're using lying as well. You are trying to bring yourself back or some kind of a revenge, but it's like a cold revenge. I can't see you that you have the courage to revenge from these people. Like I see that you don't have the courage to face these people, or might be you don't have the chance to face them. This is, could be maybe your managers at work and you can face them 
you feel upset, really upset. You're not feeling that you are yourself. You feel that you're pleasing others. You tell them what they want to hear. You're not manifesting in life what you think you want and you should do. And this is because that you are worried from others, how they will see you, what they will say about you. Uh, this is something to do with uh, something has happened to you with some people it could be around you at the moment or these people has been in your past and they affected you. I have feeling that you have something like a post-traumatic stress disorder. I'm not diagnosing you but this is how I can see in all these cards. You have here what goes around comes around. Surrender the habit of people pleasing. Break the silence. Angel of kindness. Look at both sides of the situation. You do not have to agree, but at least be understanding. Success, congratulations, you did it. And you got journaling. Consistently writing about your feelings and activities stirs creative ideas and builds your confidence as a writer. So you probably <coughs> Uh, you went through a hard situation with other people. Someone was stealing your work or you never had a chance to express how you feel or to express your emotion, your ideas freely without thinking how people will react to it, how people will see you. So if there is someone in the past have did you wrong, what you need to do is leave this behind you, but put in your mind that what goes around comes around. If there is something happened to you because of someone, it will be a bad karma for them. Focus on yourself. You need to break that silence. You have that silence here. So you need to break the silence. You can break the silence if you can't talk to these people who did you wrong because there is no chance that you can meet them again or because they are so powerful. You can't face them because I have feeling that you are not able, you don't have the courage to face them because maybe they no longer exist in your life. Maybe your family, your parents did you wrong and they no, you can't see them anymore cut them off of your life regardless of who has done that wrong to you now is the time to break the silence if you can't communicate with these people it is the time for journaling write about your feelings go for go to a psychologist so you can break that silence in another way if you can't face these people or if you can't communicate with them and break the silence with them. If you have that chance to communicate with them, it probably is the time for you to speak to them and stop them from stealing your work or stop them from annoying you and free yourself and have a new life for yourself. If you are in a toxic relationship or something like that, and you are able to take yourself out of the toxic relationship, it is the time as well to break the silence and just to cut off this person from your life. And don't think about the revenge. If you are thinking that I have invested too much in this situation, it's not the time for me now to give up. So I'm going to invest more hoping that I will get something back. No, that's not a good idea either because this is like gambling. You will just keep investing on something. You know that it's not bringing you any success. So you already have reached your success in yourself because I feel that you already have learned from the situation. You're nearly free. You are now nearly free. You can free yourself. For some of you, I feel that you already out of this situation but just is still in your mind 
you watching them for them to get their karma you couldn't express yourself in this situation so you waiting for them to get their karma so you feel that uh, it's a kind of relief i can see that this is all just a time waste what you need to do is look inside yourself and see the situation from both sides this is means that take the responsibility or your share in the situation as well because whatever has happened to you because of these people or this situation is not only because of them there is something in you as well you need to look at so look at both sides of the situation you don't have to agree but at least be understanding so you do have a problem of people pleasing so you need to stop pleasing others you need to break the silence and speak up if you can't speak to these people who are the reason of this situation at least fix it for the future because this is will be keep happening to you and even so if you no longer will see these people you will manifest other people who are the same because you still have the same problem pleasing others so speak your needs and be true to yourself focus on your own happiness instead of always trying to make everyone else happy so i think you self sabotaging yourself so whatever has happened to you regardless what was the situation and why you are in that, such a depression it's because of part of it is because of you because you pleasing others and you not speaking your needs so it's not always other people's fault half of the situation is your fault they abused me and the other half is because of me because i didn't speak up and tell them my needs or i didn't stand up for myself and say no so this is why we going through this situation to be an eye opening for us to change it's forcing us to change this is will give you a chance as well if you see the situation from your side what was the problem from your side and you fix yourself this is will give you a peace of mind so then you will be able to focus and see the situation from both sides that will give you a chance to forgive a chance to move on and what goes around comes around just leave it to god if there is something wrong has happened from these people they did a bad karma to you they will get it what goes around comes around angel of kindness the angels applaud the acts of kindness that you perform regularly for others and your thoughtful caring communication style so you are blaming yourself you telling yourself i'm a good person why always good bad thing is, is happening to good people it's not always that bad thing is happening to good people i always hear people saying that bad thing is happening to good people bad thing is happening always to good people to bad people to everybody you have been a good person and you were trying to please others but from a place of love you just didn't notice that what you doing was over the top and people started to abuse you so you probably just need to bring that balance back to your life you still been appreciated because of your kindness because you always a kind and a caring person so this is your good deed you will keep it don't worry what goes around comes around as well it's uh, is going both directions so if you are a kind person what goes around comes around bad people what goes around comes around to them as well so don't worry whatever good thing you have done you kept it yourself as a good deed what you need to do is to break the silence break the silence break the silence first to is yourself speak to yourself the truth is there is something you have done is not right to yourself so see it learn the lesson stand up to yourself and stop pleasing others make that balance of being kind to others and stepping up to yourself not letting others as well to abuse you or to use your kindness don't let others to take you for granted so now is the time is to communicate with yourself with others if there is a chance 
can communicate with these people, whoever is done you wrong, communicate with them. If you can't, there is no chance anymore to speak to them. It is a time for journaling. Speak your thoughts always. Speak your thoughts in journaling. But congratulations, you did it. I accept and create more flow and the pleasure in my life. Life is conspiring for me. I will not remain stuck. I choose a change. I am loved beyond measure. This is why the angel here of kindness is coming to upload you and say that you are a good person, you are wonderful, you are very kind, and they appreciate your thoughtful, caring, and communication style. I am loved beyond measure. Thank you, option number four. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and press on the notification button. If you are interested in personal reading, you will find the information on my website in the description box below. Thank you for watching and I should see you next time. Thank you.